Trijicon AccuPoint Scope Series presents Colorado Buck. Say when. My name's Colorado. I've been hunting my whole life. All I knew as a kid was hunting, fishing, and being outdoors. Mama could never get me to come inside. Uh, do we will go. <laughs> when I grew up, that became my occupation. Guiding, outfitting, and hunting. For 30 years now, I've made my living outdoors. Somewhere in the outback. We're in Mongolia. Hello, Argentina. Right on the El Bicho. Red Square, Moscow, Russia. Howdy, Colorado, back. Welcome to New Zealand. Ta -da. I'm in Canada, eh? I've traveled this world in pursuit of animals I once could only dream of. Yeah, the road's been rocky. Sometimes it's knocked me down. So far as I've been able, I've always got back up because I just love it so much. I'm gonna keep on loving it if it don't kill me. If I had it my way, I'd take the whole world hunting. Buddy, we gotta get you to the green catcher. <laughs> Which is a long, long ways from here. I started hunting leopards 16 years ago. and hadn't had one yet. I was unable to get one in the scope. And he said to me, Fikey, it's been 16 years that I'm hunting leopard. My 11th trip coming to Africa. Now, let me tell you something about the baiting. The baiting is not something you just don't go, well, there's a neat tree, let's put a bait in it. You have to know what you're doing. When you're researching the area, when you're looking at the drainages, when you when you just see a track, is that a traveling tom that maybe is just on it making part of his circle like a mountain lion back home, or is that daddy's home area? You're gonna be able to catch him there. There's a lot that goes into it. It's a challenge. Excellent hearing. They got excellent smell. And they got excellent eyes. You need a lot of patience. I was beginning to wonder if there was just something wrong with me and the leopards. That our stars never were gonna line up. To be honest with you, I don't. I've never seen this. I mean, I seen something up ahead of us, and I asked him, I said, what is that? He looks at me, he goes, it's the leopard. I've never seen a guy that lucky. And not even on the bait. The only leopard I've shot with lions, and for myself, was in a blind. I can still hear my heart beating. 16 years, I got my leopard in my sight, and my Trigicon diamond is on, is game on, you know? I mean, that was 16 years looking for a leopard. I've known, me as a professional hunter, I've never shot a leopard off the road. 16 years of hunting leopard chain, just like that. There was a considerable amount of blood on the ground, so, and we knew, everybody knew the hit was good. We didn't know exactly where it was. It's one of the most dangerous things to walk after as a wounded leopard. Basically what the leopard do, it goes for your head, and it takes his front paws and he wants to pull basically the skin off your head. He, he managed to get in the brush. You don't know exactly where that leopard is. There he is, there he is. They're gonna come out of there like lightning. The growl. If you ever hear it, you'll never forget it. Do not mess <clears throat> with a wounded leopard because you might end up sick and best. Come on, 
Dangerous. Always dangerous. That's why it's part of the big five. We're also hunting with the McCarter family. So we spent two weeks in South Africa with Colorado and, and enjoyed a Great Plains game hunt with Josh, our oldest son. Dakota shot a few things, I shot a couple things, and we just had a great time. And then we drove up to Zimbabwe. Well, right now we are on our way to Zimbabwe for our Cape Buffalo and Legend hunt. Once we got into Zimbabwe and got into camp, it was fantastic. The camp is spectacular. I don't know, but he's walking right here. <laughs> We're in Zimbabwe. We're, um, I'm here hunting Cape Buffalo and Leopard. And as you can see, there is a pretty good sized elephant standing maybe 50 yards behind me. We're here, we're filming and we're hunting, and this is one you're not gonna wanna miss. Where in the world is Colorado Buck is brought to you by the Great American Outdoor Trails Radio Magazine, Bitterroot Valley Ammunition Company, Benelli, Simply Perfect, Trigicon Scopes, Brilliant Aiming Solutions. The following sponsors have brought you this show. Bushbuck time. I was on a hunt for Chobe Bushbuck. I've taken Bushbuck, but I was hunting a Chobe Bushbuck. And we were walking along the Zambezi River. This, this is something I haven't done before, but if you walk beside the Zambezi, there's elephants crossing parts of the river back and forth. You're watching them while you're hunting these, while you're hunting these Bushbuck and there's hippos everywhere. Coming up and blowing, there's crocodiles, and then there's elephants where you're walking around. You wanna talk about something that's... One of the interesting things about Zimbabwe that differs from South Africa is that Zimbabwe is totally wild. You gotta come experience it. It's very affordable, it's very real. This is real Africa. Hyena tracks, they're right on top of our tracks. It's not even 10 minutes. It is an elephant bull, but we suspect it, it's, it's most likely to be poachers. If they were hunters, there's no way they could leave the ears behind. The ears? The ears, you they make good, good leather out of the ears. You can say you're poaching somebody's animals, but it's not somebody's animals, you understand? It's for our future. It's for our grandchildren which they are coming, you understand? It's our prosperity, you understand what I mean? Just, guys, don't do that. Please, I'm begging you. Don't go out there and do poaching. It's not a good thing to do.
I rushed it. I rushed it. I thought he was going to keep going. Boy, boy, boy. Uh-uh-uh. Let me tell you what I did. I flinched. Shot low. Exactly what I did. Boy, he was beautiful, too. That was a nice one. My shoulders, I cocked it, I set the gun, you know what I mean? You put, you, you, you shoulder gun, you turn it, you cock, you set, you set it, you're ready to pull the trigger. Laid it in there, he was walking, and I still, I, I, I remember, I'm like this, just exactly like that. Couldn't stop it, you know what I mean? It just, it was like automatic. And it's not the gun, it's got a man up. Stocking up on Cape Buffalo is one of the, one of the most intense things I've ever experienced. They're a herd animal. You could get hurt real bad. In the Zambezi Valley, it's not a judge. You have to find the track. The tracker has to track it until you find the animal, and then you have to, you know, hunt the animal. It's very difficult hunting the Cape Buffalo with a bow and arrow because you got to do everything perfect. You basically need <clears throat> to get 30 or 40 yards from a total wild buffalo, which is going to give you gray hair. But if you want to, you can do it. puts a lot of stress on you because you have to draw back slow so they can't see you and they, you have to make a good shot so they run away from you, not towards you. Petey told me the first one was the big bullet. First one. If you come into that open, get ready. I, I heard it. It smacked a tree. After I took that shot and I knew I missed, it was pretty hard to bear on me because there was, you know, there was a lot of stress that we worked through and the heat of the day and, you know, to show nothing for it. I mean, that's hunting, though. This has been such a, an experience being able to be here with Colorado. We have laughed so hard and had so much fun, but then there's been the times where we needed to get serious. You basically need to shoot a, any bait, which is impala, baboon, or hippo. Hang the meat in the tree, <clears throat> build yourself a blind, drag the intestines around so the smell can go, and uh, go and sit in the blind and wait. He's a young guy, but he is very, very well schooled at what he does. The next day we sit there and, and, and watch till about dark. A lot of vultures were circling that, that had actually found that bait. Nothing happened, we pulled out of there early. We went back the next day, there wasn't nothing there but the tree, nothing. So collectively we decided to go hunt for a new bait to hang back on that tree. And while we're out looking for a bait, one of, one of the guys that was next to me, I seen something up ahead of us and I asked him, I said, what is that? He looks at me, he goes, it's the leopard. Just going down the road. I've never seen a guy that lucky. 
So everything changed right there that the bait hunting come to complete immediate stop right there. And we were full on hunting leopard. It was still, I felt like a long ways to the leopard, but he'd seen us. And it was just kind of that curiosity in the cat deal. I was afraid to go any closer and I set up to take a shot. And 16 years, 16 years of hunting leopard chain, just like that. I shot, I heard the hit, and he just rolled. He just rolled over. He uh, he didn't lay there, obviously, and he got up and started started moving around, so we beat feet up there as close as we could to him. There was a considerable amount of blood on the ground, so, and we knew, everybody knew the hit was good. We didn't know exactly where it was. He, he'd managed to get in the brush. And you, and you can look around in there and you can't see. Now you know there's a wounded leopard right in there. It's one of the most dangerous things to walk after as a wounded leopard. You don't go in by yourself with one gun. Basically what the leopard do, it goes for your head and it takes his front paws and he wants to pull basically the skin off your head. Ever since you got his height. That's really not a bird, that's a charging leopard. And there's just little canals and alleyways. And you don't you don't walk through there. You just you, you literally you get down and you're on your knees and your hands and you're looking at all these little different alleys and these ways and you don't know exactly where that leopard is. They're gonna come out of there like lightning. The growl. If you ever hear it, you will never forget it. Is it? Oh, you know that shot. Sixteen years. Already did. No, I did. I'm ready. Is it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Big, big Woo! I can't believe it! <laughs> Can you believe that? What's <laughs> chocolate? The shot wasn't bad, the fifth shot. You I got that shot because of that scope. I'm, I got that because you see how this just right at the dusk here, yeah. how hard it was to see, yeah. and that little dot. And I'm you telling spot, you. Yeah, you saw him, Mike. I, I spotted him. Yeah, he spotted him. Yeah. I just saw the thick tail. Oh, thank you, God. <laughs>
all them miles, all them years, all them nights in the blind. And we're walking out here and get him. I can't believe it. From the what? Do you realize how long? 16 years. 16 years. It was 16 years ago that I first came to Africa and started hunting leopard. And I've been close many times. There's stories on Palm's story that I could tell you. But today, today I was able to uh, com to complete that quest. I can't hardly talk. There's so much emotions going on in me. I, if you if you've ever hunted for something so long and so hard, it's it's hard to believe how just another animal what it can mean to you. But this is something that's so unbelievably special to me. It uh. It, it completes my big five. It also completes my big seven, if you're into the Safari Club system, and I am. I'm a life member of both Safari Club and the Dallas Safari Club. And this has just been something I have maybe wanted too much. Maybe you want things too much in life, and if that's the case, and this is something I, I wanted too much. I am so happy. I don't even know how to tell everybody thank you like I want to. It is just so, this is so beautiful and it is so special. I promise you from the bottom of my heart, you see that scope? I've been telling you for years about that scope. If you've not tried it, just try the scope. It's a Trigicon scope. And I promise you there's many, many trophies in my trophy room wouldn't be there that would not be there without that scope. And the Beta Root Valley Ammunition did a good job too. <laughs> okay, we go now. I gotta go call my dad, tell him what's happened here. Hey y'all, go to www.heycoloradobuck.com for more information on where in the world we are, where we're headed, featured outfitters, hunting trips that you can take with us, and hunting ranches that's for sale. Plus, you can find my signature series products at our online store, Colorado's All Outdoors. You can even order Buckshot, your all natural energy shot, all that and a whole lot more. www.heycoloradobuck.com. I'm the happiest guy in the world right now. <laughs>